What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, the JJ Search, coming at you with another video. Last time you saw Josh and I open up the Yu-Gi-Oh! starter decks featuring Weevil and Rex Raptor. Uh, Josh and I played a couple duels, and I decided that, yo, I really like Yu-Gi-Oh! Speed Duels. So um, I decided to pick up the first set, which is... Um, arena of lost souls of royal flush so um i don't know what's in here i only know uh spear karibo um i think it's like a new kind of karibo or something i used to play Yu-Gi-Oh back in the day um but yeah i want to get uh get um a box of this set and then uh let's see what we pull <laughs> let's get right into the video so yeah we have uh arena of lost souls here i'm gonna just rip this um plastic off right here Konami wrapping. so yeah uh i think there are 36 packs four cards per pack this is actually my first um box of Yu-Gi-Oh cards ever bought so there's that oh wow look at all that so yeah, um, let's just start here. I don't know what's in here. Four cards per pack, that's kind of weird. I'm kind of an old school player, so uh, I don't know. Oh, what kind of, oh, this is one of the new skill cards. Huh. Oh, it's backwards. Great Mammoth, I'll just, Buster Blader, oh wow, common. Whoa, Call the Hunted. Activate this card by targeting one monster in your graveyard. Special summon that target in attack position. When this card leaves the field, destroy that monster. When that monster is destroyed, destroy this card. So nice. I think, is that an ultra rare? Huh, ultra rare to start off the start off the box. So um, there's that, let me sleeve this up. Got a pack of sleeves too. Let me, uh, nice hollows so yeah I used to play Yu-Gi-Oh back in the day um, uh, had Yu-Gi starter deck Kaiba starter deck um, and then I quit for a while then I came back around um, agents dark worlds um, chaos dragons was my uh, my deck so i don't know if that means anything to you guys i don't know if you guys play Yu-Gi-Oh or watch Yu-Gi-Oh um i had i really like uh junk apple sardis dragon was my favorite monster um coming back into the game and then after that i quit for a while again um i quit around i think it was dragon rulers that was the last time, or that was the last deck, um, tier one deck that I um, was playing at the time. And then I came back uh, when Link Something was first um, released. I came back at uh, Code of the Duelist. That's how I remember because of this. I got the play mat at, um, at a tournament. It was like a random drawing thing. First day I come back, I won a, a, a mat. And then um, it was at the sneak peek for Code of the Duelist, and I bought a sneak peek. And then the last pack I put, um, I got was uh, contained Firewall Dragon. <laughs> so uh, he was my favorite monster for a while, and then I quit for again, again for a while, and then find out that he's banned. So <laughs> I played uh, dinosaurs, dinosaur. Um, the dinosaur structure deck when I for, when I came back again, and then now, not really knowing what to play. Um, I don't even know what the meta is. I think it was Salomon Greats when I first came back, but then I came back like two weeks before the ban list. So then Salomon Greats got nerfed.
Right now, I'm not playing um, super competitively in the advanced format. Not, not really sure what to play. Um, I think the Rocket Structure deck just came out, though. Not sure if that's any good. Comment down below if you guys think it is. Maybe I'll come back into the uh, advanced game. But um, I'm really, I really like speed duels. Um, they're really fast, quick. Um, it's not as confusing as like Lynx or um, Pendulums or like any of the combo stuff. It's very old school, and I appreciate that. It's very similar to um, Duel Links. Oh, a Hollow right here. Straight to the grave. All dinosaur, zombie, and rock monsters on the field gain 200 attack and defense. And this guy is, I think he's Bonds. Yep, he's Bonds. So yeah, there is straight to the grave. Second hollow. I think that's our hollow. Here, let me put the hollows on the side. the hollows on the side. I don't know if you guys can see that. Probably not. But I forgot what I was talking about. Um, but yeah, I really like uh, Speed Duels. Reminds me a lot of Duel Links. I play Duel Links. I have um, there's like this structure deck in Duel Links. It's like the Red Eyes one. I just press auto duel and then let the computer play. Beat all the computers all the time. <laughs> Except for the Vagabound guy, the guy that looks like red. I don't know if you guys are Pokemon fans. I'm a Pokemon fan if you guys can see in my t-shirt. But yeah, I really like speed duels. Um, I actually got the Yugi starter deck too. Um, I like Dark Magician. I like, ooh, Harpy's Pet Dragon. I'm a fan of Harpy's, so. <laughs> Skull Servant. Oh, next ultra rare, Michizor. When a monster is sent from the field to the graveyard, even during the damage step, target one monster on the field and destroy it. All right. Let me sleeve this guy up. All right. I don't know how many ultra rares are in this or how many supers or I don't think rares are in this set so that's new I know in the new packs um, <clears throat> well I, I don't know if it's new or not but the packs in the TCG they have a ho guaranteed hollow in every pack which is always nice I remember um, old school you didn't even, you were just guaranteed a rare. It kind of helps with the pricing. I remember um, Tour Guide. That was like an expensive card. Pot of Duality. That was an expensive card. Solemn Warning. Um, a bunch of these cards were um, on the more expensive end. I don't remember the prices, but I just remember you had to play three of each. Um, so yeah, just looking to see what's in this set. Um, maybe I can pull something cool. I already got three cool cards straight to the grave called the Haunted Michizor. Got a lot of these Queen Knights. Ooh! Super, send you of the thousand hands. When this card is normal or flip summoned, you can add one ritual monster from your deck to your hand. Hmm. Ritual. I think um, that restrict card in the Pegasus starter deck. That's uh, you can search with this guy, and um, that'll be good. Sword and Shield, another Harpy's Pet Dragon. It's so weird to see an in common. 
I remember uh, when I got Harpies. Um, my friends got it for me. Shout out Zach, Jonathan, and Chris. <laughs> they got me the deck. And um, Harpies Pet Dragon is a very hard card to come by. Because um, Big Eye and Draco Sack were all the rage. I don't even know how much those cards are now. <laughs> but yeah, now I um, I have um, Junk Doppel, Chaos Dragons, Light Sworn. I really like Light Sworn. That was um, those were that was those were fun decks. Okay, I guess um, that's one side of the box down. Um, I guess recap for the first side. It was Senju of the, Ten of the Thousand Hands. Mitch Azur. Um, Call of the Haunted. And then, oh, I forgot to sleeve this one. This is Straight to the Grave. There it is. Those are four hollows on one side. And then uh, let me get to the next side. I don't know if it was right or left. I forgot. Um, so I, I don't know if like if that plays a thing. If that matters. Maybe right side is better. Left side is better. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah. Um, looking forward to speed duels. I see a hollow. Um, this is King of the Skull Servants. The original attack of this card is combined number of King of the Skull Servants and Skull Servant in your graveyard times a thousand. When this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can banish one other King of the Skull Servants or one Skull Servant from your graveyard. Special summon this card. Uh, I've never heard of this card before. King of the Skull Servants. Huh. I wonder if that's new. Next pack. Yeah, other decks I have. Um, I like frogs. I like frog monarchs. Um, I remember uh, just hearing about it. Um, monarchs were a good deck back a couple years ago. Um, they revolved around like not using the extra deck, which is like really weird to me because like I remember um, plant synchros. Um, e dragons, they all like rely on like the extra deck mechanic. Um, other than that, I have um, I have Dark Worlds. Uh, dude, I can't even remember. Oh, Worms! Worms are my favorite deck. Um, a little too slow for today's meta game, but um. Back in the day, I really like Worms. W Nebula Meteorite was a semi-broken card for the deck. Broken for the many pluses, but not broken because Worms are not good. <laughs> wow, a lot of repeats. How many cards are in this set? I don't even know. Maybe I can look it up in the end of the video. But here is the next pack. This is hard to open. Oh, another Harpy's Pet Dragon. Maybe I can play Harpy's. <laughs> Man, I guess no Karibo. And I really wanted to pull Karibo. I really like Karibo. Uh, Karibo, Wing Karibo, um, Curry Bandit. Uh, there's another one. The Wing Karibo or something, like level 10 or something. Oh, there's another skill card. And it is another straight to the grave. 
Um, yeah, I'll just leave it. Why not? There it is. Put it to the side. So yeah, um, I also play uh, Pokemon, the trading card game. Um, not competitively, I just buy a structure deck or one of the um, the World Championship Series decks. Um, just for fun. I don't go to tournaments or anything like that. Yu-Gi-Oh, though, I do go to tournaments sometimes. Um, I used to go to a lot of them when I used to play um, mildly competitively. Um, but now I don't go to tournaments. I just don't know. Oh, there's the Spear Karibo. Let's go, Spear Karibo. There he is, or she is, or it is. Let me read the effect for y'all. When an opponent's monster declares an attack, you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard. Change the attacking p monster to defense position. When you ritual summon, you can banish this card from the graveyard as one of the monsters required for the ritual summon. There. Spear. Karibo. Nice. I really like that. The one card I'm looking for. <laughs> Yeah, I really like how in this this game, in the speed duel format, this is the only hand trap. <laughs> yeah, with like the effect veilers, ash blossoms, ghost ogres, winter cherries, stroll and lock. Um, there's just so many hand traps and like, that's good for the game, I think. Um, like good defenses you need cards that negate but there's just so many you know or it's like sometimes it's not fun anymore like because for me like the the tcg Yu-Gi-Oh is about like making this, this this big board first turn and then second person has to find a way wait wasteland all dinosaurs not me I knew this card looked familiar. So look, I don't know if you guys play, but these cards are the exact same thing. All dinosaurs, zombie, and rock monsters. On the field, game 200 attack and defense. So I wonder if you play this, and then this at the same time, can you do 400? What does the back of this say? Because I think... It says, at the start of the duel, place this card in your field zone and flip. Okay, yeah. You can only play one at a time. So you can't, it doesn't stack. So at the beginning of the duel, you would activate this. But if you draw this, well, it's just a dead card. The skull Servant. Oh, I think that goes with the uh, King of the Skull thing. Decay Zombie. All right. Queen's Knight. Cool. I wonder if Jack Knight... In here, King's Knight 2. Did I pull one of those already? Honestly, I'm not even paying attention to the comments. <laughs> Half shut. I really wish I got to get to, um, oh, here's the Sword of Dragon's Soul. Equip only to a warrior monster, it gains 700 attack. After damage calculation, if the equipped monster battle a dragon monster, destroy that monster at the end of the battle phase. Maybe it has some combo for, like, I don't know, like, crashing in. It's like a warrior versus dragon stereotype kind of thing. All right, last two packs, guys. Yeah, I went through that pretty quickly. Well, maybe it's not quickly. It's a 20-minute video. But, <clears throat> yeah. Another Grave Keepers. I 
think we're not expecting any more holidays, so this is going to be a, a not-so-happy ending for us here at the JJ Surge. Skull Servant, Decayed Commander, Half Shut, and Rabid Horseman. All right, guys. That is the Arena of Lost Souls box. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Here is our recap. First side, we have Call of the Haunted. We have Michizur. Senju of the Thousand Hands. And Straight to the Grave. Next side, we had Sword of Dragon's Soul. Next up, we have Spear Karibo. Another straight to the grave. And finally, King of the Skull Servant. Let us know what you guys think of my pulls. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hollows. So yeah, make sure you give us a like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you guys don't miss any video. And this is the JJ Search. Signing out. Thanks for watching.